30 days of carrying my wife. I got home one night and, as my wife served dinner, I held her hand and said, I want a divorce. She didn't seem to be annoyed by my words. Instead, she softly asked me why. I avoided the question, and this made her angry. She threw down the chopsticks and shouted, you are not a man. We didn't talk to each other that night. She was weeping. I knew she wanted to find out what had happened to our marriage, but I could hardly give her a satisfactory answer, she had lost my heart to Jane. I didn't love her anymore. I just pitied her. With a deep sense of guilt, I drafted a divorce agreement stating that she could keep the house, the car, and a 30% share of my company. She glanced at it and tore it to pieces. The woman who had spent 10 years of her life with me had become a stranger. I felt sorry for her wasted time, resources and energy, but I could not take back what I had said. She finally cried loudly in front of me, which was what I had expected to see in the first place, and the idea of divorce felt more real now. I got home very late from work the next day, and found her writing something at the table. I didn't have dinner, I just went straight to bed and fell asleep. In the morning, she presented her divorce conditions, she didn't want anything from me, but requested that for the next month we both struggle to live as normal a life as possible. Her reasons were simple, our son had his exams in a month, and she didn't want to disrupt him with a broken marriage. She also asked me to recall how I had carried her into our bridal room on our wedding day, and requested that I now carry her out of our bedroom to the front door every morning for the month's duration. I thought she was going crazy, but to make our last days together bearable, I accepted her odd request. We were both pretty clumsy about it when I carried her out on the first day, but our son was joyfully clapping his hands behind us, singing, Daddy is holding Mommy in his arms. His words triggered a sense of pain in me. I carried her from the bedroom to the living room, and then to the door. She closed her eyes and softly said, don't tell our son about the divorce. I nodded and put her down outside the door. We weren't as clumsy on the second day. She leaned on my chest and I could smell the fragrance of her blouse. I realized that I hadn't really looked at this woman for a long time. She was not young anymore. There were fine wrinkles on her face, and her hair was graying. Our marriage had taken its toll on her. For a minute I wondered what I had done to her. On the fourth day, when I lifted her up, I felt a sense of intimacy returning. This was the woman who had given ten years of her life to me. On the fifth and sixth day, I realized that our sense of intimacy was growing again. It became easier to carry her as the month slipped by, and I suddenly realized that she was getting very thin.